We're looking at chamois, uh, the scientific name, Adenostoma fasciculatum. Uh, another common name for this is greasewood. This is just a, a stereotypical chaparral plant. It's something that's very common uh, up in our hills. Um, the name greasewood comes from some of the volatile oils that are contained within the leaves. Uh, when we have our wildfires, you, you might see a flare up in the hills and it's very possible that it could be hitting a stand of chemise and that those volatile oils are uh, igniting, causing that flare up. Um, this is a really tough, extremely drought tolerant plant. Um, we're in uh, the, uh, the leaves are uh, it's just very needle-like. It has a superficial resemblance to rosemary uh, with an even finer texture. Um, and uh, you can also see right now we're in the, the middle of spring and it gets these uh, flower clusters at the, uh, the terminal ends of uh, the branches. Um, just very simple, small white flowers, but it does have a nice effect against the dark green leaves. Um, again, uh, this is probably one of the most drought tolerant plants in, uh, in the chaparral. Um, uh, it, uh, it, it's not necessarily the most attractive plant. It does tend to carry a lot of uh, dead twigs uh, for a while, but um, it's certainly something that's representative of our local chaparral community.